Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to Mr. Rangel's American History. And uh, today we're going to learn about some of the uh, events that are leading up to the American Revolution. And uh, so let's get into it. This is what I call Where's the Love, Part 1. As you know, after the French and Indian War, we, uh, we loved England. We were happy about uh, England, and, and we wanted to be like England because they helped get rid of the French. And the whole thing about the French Indian War was that we complained uh, that the French were, you know, bothering us. We complained to England. They came over. We had a big old war, and they got rid of the, the French, and we were very happy. We loved England. And then all of a sudden, things started happening that kind of made us uh, consider and think about, well, maybe, uh, maybe we don't love England so much. And it all started with um, some of these, some of these new uh, taxes that England wanted to impose on us, because England wanted the colonies to help pay for the war. And and like I always said, you know, had England asked us and talked with us about, you know, why they're giving us these taxes and, and the purpose behind it, I don't think we would have had a big problem uh, paying these taxes. But what happened was they sent us taxes and they didn't even ask us. The first one they sent us was called the Sugar Act in, in 1764. It put a tax on uh, sugar products. And like I said, it wasn't the money. It, it was the fact that they didn't even talk to us about it. We were upset because England gave us his tax, but they didn't tell us about it. They didn't explain to us, you know, what the purpose was. And we began to complain, and we came up with a little phrase that said, we don't want taxation without representation. So if you're going to tax us, let us be part of the decision-making process. Let us let, let us help you uh, figure out how we can you know, work on these things. But they didn't want any of that. They just sent us these taxes. And taxation without representation, in Rangel speak, it's called, you taxed us, but you didn't ask us. You taxed us, but you didn't ask us. We didn't like this. Uh, we, we accepted it, but we didn't like it. We began to consider, well, maybe Maybe this love thing between England and the colonists is not as, uh, not as secure as we thought. Then came the Stamp Act, 1765. The Stamp Act was an act that put a tax on paper products and other kinds of uh, documents, like legal documents and marriage certificates and playing cards. And the problem with this act is that it affected everyone. It didn't affect just the rich. It affected the rich and the poor legal documents. It affected the, the rich lawyers' playing cards. It affected the sailors coming in from uh, uh, from being on, on the ocean and, and sailing, playing cards. So you had the rich and the, the poor, uneducated, all upset about the Stamp Act. And because of that, we started protesting. We got a lot of uh, uh, things going on that, that started the colonies really beginning to get organized about this, you know, action against England. One of the most important and probably the most famous of all the protest group was called the Sons of Liberty, and they started protesting. They started making a lot of noise in the colonies saying, what's up with this uh, taxation? What's up with what England's trying to do to us? So we began to boycott English goods. Boycott means to stop uh, buying something or not supporting something. So we stopped buying things that made from England and this was affecting the, the, the English merchants. At the same time, we were getting a little violent with some of these uh, tax collectors. And so when England found out about it, they decided, all right, fine, we are going to repeal the Stamp Act. Stamp Act never actually made it to the colonies, but with all the, the fuss that we were, um, were creating in, in uh, the colonies, England said, fine, we are going to repeal the Stamp Act. And repeal means to take it back. They're going to take back that law. But they decided to send us two more in its place, two more laws to replace the Stamp Act. They said, all right, fine. We will take the Stamp Act back, but we're going to give you two more. And the first one was the, um, the Townshend Act. Now, the Townshend Act was an act, was a law that said we're going to put a tax on certain products that you use every day, like glass, lead, paint, paper, and tea. I'm going to put a tax on these products. And that upset us, but what really upset us was the next act. The next one that really made us upset was the Declaratory Act. And those of you who are in my class, remember on the test I'm going to ask you, what did the Declaratory Act 
tax? What did the declaratory act tax? And the answer is nothing. It didn't tax a thing. It just made a statement. It just made a statement that said, we, England, are in charge. We're in control of you colonies. We're going to do whatever we want. We can make a law. We can put a tax. And if you don't like it, too bad. We are in charge, and you are not. And so, you know, all this time we were thinking that England, the colonies, that, that we saw each other as equals. We saw, uh, we in the colonies, we saw us as British. We saw us, ourselves as equals. And then all of a sudden, we get the declaratory act that says, no, 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 no. You're not equal. You are colonies. We are the mother country. You do what we say. We didn't like that. And for the first time, we realized, hey, maybe they don't love us. Maybe they don't see us equal. Maybe they, you know, we we don't uh, we don't meet eye to eye like we thought we did we were officially disrespected on paper they were telling us we don't respect you you are not at our level you are not as our, you are not our equals and this really broke our heart this is where we started beginning to realize for the first time that england was disrespecting us and that's when all the the rest of the the uh, problems began and this is where we start moving on to the more serious issues that we will talk about in our next uh, video so until then we'll talk to you later study for your test bye bye